two gospel readings that are set as choices for Mothering Sunday both pick out heart-rending incidents in the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The first one that she didn't quite understand was a prophecy given in the temple when she and Joseph went in to make the normal sacrifices that any mother and father of a firstborn boy would do at that time, taking the sacrifice into the temple. And the prophet Simeon said, and a sword shall pierce your own heart too. And the other reading we're offered is the fulfilment of that prophecy as the Blessed Virgin Mary stood under the cross as her son died. And I'm sure that when people go or have been to Mothering Sunday services and they hear those not terrifically cheerful readings from the Gospel, with perhaps Mother's Day uh, rather than Mothering Sunday on their minds, they're perhaps questioning a bit, why has the church got such sad readings on what is such a happy day? Days when people give presents and celebrate their mums, especially young children, and mums perhaps get breakfast in bed. But for many people, Mothering Sunday is a sad time. For many reasons, family life doesn't always run straightforwardly. For some people, their relationships with their mothers was difficult. Some people never had the joy of being a mother. And the great thing about the church calling it Mothering Sunday, rather than the other name for it that often comes in our cards now, Mother's Day, is that for the church, although we focus on Jesus' mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, what we're actually talking about is the act of nurturing love and care that one human being can offer another. And that is something that all of us can offer each other as we go through our lives. And some of that time, the nurturing love we offer each other will be joyful and happy and we will share in one another's joys. And at other times, we'll be reaching out and offering a hand to somebody who is going through the darkest of times. So as we celebrate our relationships with one another, whether they be our mothers or our children, whether they be our friends, whether they be people we care about who we're not related to and perhaps aren't that closely bonded to but know that we have a responsibility to make their lives better or receive help from them, we know that we are called by God's Spirit to be salt and light and caring in the society in which we live whether we live in a village, a town, whatever community we are part of. And in this current time, both as we've lived through the pandemic and now as we live in the midst of this time of crisis, war in Europe, when we see the horrible sights once more of refugees fleeing for their lives, leaving everything they knew behind. We are aware of how interconnected we are and how much we need to offer that nurturing love to people who perhaps we have never known before, whether it's by offering our homes for refugees or by putting money in the hands of charities who can offer help on our behalf. But whatever, Mothering Sunday, as we have it in the church, offers us in the place of the Virgin Mary that hope of human beings learning to make a society in which we are bound to one another by love and care and not by competition and jealousy. <laughs>